Now, let me tell you what are the drugs for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Right? Drugs for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if you see this particular drugs, now we have three groups of drugs. These three groups of drugs, if you see, first in the acute phase to reduce the pain, we have NSAIDs that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And then we have corticosteroids. All right, then we have corticosteroids and next to the corticosteroids then the last group of drugs what we have is the DMARDs. So these are the three group of drugs what we use in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. One is NSAIDs, corticosteroids and as well as disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Now, you take these NSAIDs, mainly they are useful for reducing the acute pain. Right? Mainly they are useful for reducing the acute pain. As such I have said you, they don't have any effect on the progression of the disease. What they do? They just only reduce the acute pain in these patients with the arthritis. Now, you take this particular corticosteroids. Remember, this particular corticosteroids, they are used as bridge therapy. All right. So remember these drugs, they are used as bridge therapy. Now bridge therapy for what? Bridge therapy for the DMARDs, disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. And that means until the effect of the disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs have started, the drugs which are used to reduce the disease activity is your corticosteroids. So they are used as a bridge therapy to reduce the disease activity. Right, to reduce the disease activity, right, until the effect of the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs are started. Now, not only that, remember, as such, very important, they are used as to bridge over the effect of the DMARDs. But another important point is these drugs can be used as even adjunctive therapy. Right, these drugs can be used as even adjunctive therapy for active disease that persists despite the treatment with the DMARDs. That means you have started the DMARDs, the effect of the DMARDs have begun, but still there is some activity of the disease going on in spite of giving the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs. Then, in such clinical scenario, the corticosteroids, they will be acting as the adjunctive therapy. Corticosteroids, they will be acting as adjunctive therapy. Now, now coming to the story of your DMARDs. Now, remember this particular DMARDs, right? These DMARDs, like we are having two types, right? We are having two types of DMARDs. If you take in one class, like we have what is called as synthetic DMARDs, Right, we have one group of drugs that is synthetic DMARDs, that is synthetic disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, and then the other group, what we have is the biological drugs. Right, the other group, what we have is the biological drugs. So, now let me tell you the list of the synthetic DMARDs, that is synthetic disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs. The synthetic DMARDs are one, we have methotrexate. Then we have sulfasalazine, next we have leflunamide, then we have hydroxychloroquine, then we have minocycline, and then we have tofacitinib, then we have gold salts, and lastly we have penicillamine. So remember these are all your synthetic DMATs, whereas you take the biological DMATs. 
Now this biological demands again we classify them into four types right again we classify them into four types. Now what are those four types of the biological demands you see here first and foremost very important class we have the TNF alpha inhibitors. Right, first and foremost very important class that is TNF alpha inhibitors and then the second group what we have is the co-stimulant inhibitors. Right, then we have what is called the co-stimulant inhibitors. Then the third what we have is the interleukin 6 inhibitors. Right, the third group what we have is the interleukin 6 inhibitors and lastly we have B cell depleters. Right, lastly what we have is the B cell depleters. Alright, so these are like your four classes of your biological demands. Now you take this TNF alpha inhibitors. The TNF alpha inhibitors, the examples include etanercept, infliximab, then you have adalimumab, then you have golimumab, and then you have sertolizumab. These are all your TNF alpha inhibitors. Then you have co stimulant inhibitors. The co stimulant inhibitors, they include abatacept and then bilatacept these are all your co-stimulant inhibitors then you take the interleukin 6 inhibitors the interleukin 6 inhibitors they are nothing but tocilizumab they are interleukin 6 inhibitors and then lastly you have b cell depleters which is nothing but rituximab so these are all your biological demands so Overall, the drugs which are used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis for acute pain, we use NSAIDs. For bridge therapy and as well as adjuvant therapy, we give corticosteroids. And the disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, these are the drug of choice in these patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. And like we have two types that is synthetic and as well as biological demands. Now, let me explain each and every drug in this particular class.